I'm Tina Hudson of Complete in Christ Ministries. Welcome to Thursday Talk with Tina. Last time, as we walked through the book of James, we looked at the definition of wisdom that the world often operates from. It is worldly, it is sensual, it is even demonic, and in essence, it's no wisdom at all. James has already told us in chapter 1, verse 5, that if any of us lacks wisdom, we can ask of God, who will give to us freely, and he will allow us to come to him as many times a day as we will come to ask for wisdom in knowing how to deal with people and circumstances that we face. Then in chapter 1, verse 17, James reminds us that every good and perfect gift comes from above. It comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shifting shadows. In other words, God is pure and God is holy and perfect. And what God gives us is always going to be good. So then here in chapter 3, verse 17, James continues to describe what the wisdom is that we receive from God. He says here, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. So if you'll notice, James says that the wisdom that comes from God is first pure. He starts the list with purity. Purity is a holiness before God. God commands his followers to be holy for he is holy. But the only way that we can do that is by surrendering to his Holy Spirit who lives within us. That's where purity comes. Then if we're willing to pursue a life of purity, seeking God for wisdom, then we can live a life that is also peaceable. That's peace loving, peace making, but without compromising the truth of God's word. It is gentle. It is forbearing with other people and forbearing in our circumstances, patience in our circumstances. It is willing to yield. It is compliant. It is reasonable. It doesn't always have to have its own way. It is full of mercy, which means it is controlled by mercy. Because we receive mercy from God, we don't get what we deserve, the punishment that we deserve, then we are to extend that mercy to others as well. It is full of good fruits. That means it reaches out to others, not just in words, but through our actions as well. It is without partiality. It is unwavering. It is decisive. It is without hypocrisy, which means it's sincere. There's no pretense in that type of wisdom, and there is no pretense in the life of a follower of Jesus who is willing to surrender to him. And the result of that, now the fruit of righteousness, that's right living with before God because we have received righteousness as a standing before God through Jesus, it is sown in peace by those who make peace. So are you living today with the wisdom of God that is peaceable, that is pure, that shows other people that there's something different about our lives, we should. So I encourage you today, go and seek God for the wisdom that you need in dealing with your circumstances and the people that God places in your life. Go and be blessed. Thank you.